Alright folks, so today I want to go over how to build your own personalized stock portfolio tracker using Google Sheets and also have it notify you of your daily portfolio value via email using Google Apps Script. So let's get right into it. I have this empty spreadsheet here. Let's give it a title, my stock portfolio. And let's make a little portfolio for ourselves. Let's say this is the ticker. This is the price. This is how many shares I have. And this is the value. Now, I like to give my columns explicit names and that makes the formulas a lot easier to read and maintain. So I'm going to give this a descriptive name. The way we give it a descriptive name is by defining a named range. I'm going to call this entire column ticker. Just give it the same name as the column name. I'm going to call column B. I'm going to call that price. Let's pick a few stocks and symbols that we have in our portfolio here. Let's say I have VT Sachs, the Vanguard Total Stock Index. And let's say I have Google and I have Apple. Now, how can we find out the current price of these ticker symbols? There is a very useful Google spreadsheet function called Google Finance, which can look up the price of a ticker symbol for you. So there you go, it auto completes for me. I will say Google Finance off, and I will say ticker. It gives me the named range. So Google Finance of ticker. takes a second to load and that's the current price. I can copy over that formula here and here and there you see I have the current prices. Let's pretend we have a few shares of these things. Let's have four shares of this, five shares of this and six shares of this and the value is just the price times the number of shares I have. So that's price times shares and that's my value and I can copy this down here to get the value of each ticker. And now obviously my total here is going to be the sum of these three tickers. And now just to make things simple, I'm going to give this one cell uh, a name and this is this is going to make it easier for us to refer to it in our app script to notify us via email define named range add a range and this is already on d5 and i'm going to say total portfolio value at this point we have a google sheet which keeps track of the daily price of the stocks in our portfolio and adds them all up to give us to give us our total portfolio value. The next thing we want is for this total portfolio value to get emailed to us. The way we're going to do that is via Google Apps script. So we go to tools, we open the script editor. Now Google Apps script is basically JavaScript and it has APIs to access most of the Google products like Sheets, Docs, etc. In this case, we're going to use some Google Sheets APIs to get the, the value of the total. We want a function that gets the value of that one cell that has the total. So that's this cell right here. Let's give this function a more descriptive name. Let's get total value. And now we will try to go and get that. The first thing we need is a list of all the named ranges. Now there's an API 
from App Script to Google Sheets, which lets you access various things about a Google Sheet, its cells, its values, its named ranges, and so on. And there's documentation that goes and shows that. But let's get right into the function over here. Now that we have all the named ranges, we want that one named range which has our total. So let's just loop through all the named ranges and find the one we want. And that gives us our total value. Okay, the next thing we need is to email this total value to ourselves. Google App Script has an interface to Gmail which lets you do that. Yeah. And that's the signature of the send email method. We need a recipient, a subject, and the body. The recipient is going to be me. I'm just going to make up an email address here. The subject is going to be my portfolio value. And the body will just be a number, which is the total portfolio value. So we'll call get total value. Let's save and give this project a name. I'm going to call it Portfolio Tracker. All right, so at this point, we have these functions, but we still need some kind of trigger to call it. We are going to use a timed trigger. Let's create a trigger for this particular function. Let's choose the function that we want to run. We want to run email the total. Let's make this time driven. So I want this to get emailed to me at a certain time every day. So I want it once per day. And I will select the time of day. Let's just say I want this at 6 a.m. every day. And I will save this. So there's our trigger which will run every day at a specific time and email us the total. That is our short Google Apps script which has the logic to do that. And that's our spreadsheet which uses the Google Finance function to get the values of stock tickers. Hope you find that useful. Thanks and I'll see you next time.